and the current pattern is actually really bad in terms of results. We are projecting a higher than normal total for championship survival. Whether those two wins were a flash in the pan, no championship round this weekend because of the FA Cup. Let's have a look down at the bottom of the division and who might be in line to make the drop down to League One in 2023. Currently in that bottom three are Wigan, Huddersfield and Blackpool with Rotherham, Cardiff, Bristol City hovering just above the line. The magic number I'm sticking with is 45 to survive. On average, over the past 10 years, 22nd in the championship has been relegated with 43.9 points. 21st has survived with 46.6. Split the difference to get to 45, which at 0.98 points per game tells us one point per game through the season normally keeps you in the division. So how is that type of projection looking like across this season? Well, Wigan are at the bottom and they are the only team below the one point per game number, meaning right now we are projecting a higher than normal total for championship survival this season. That could, of course, change. Anyone who's watched my video about the playoffs will know that the chasing pack further up the table is way below average. So it's not beyond the realms of the possibility that that playoff chasing group will improve in the second half of the season. And you know who they're going to take the points off. It will be the bottom six. So things might look a bit normal as we head towards that vital Easter period. Let's have a look then at the direction of travel for all of these bottom half teams. I must say now, I don't really see Reading, Coventry or Swansea being involved. Reading have impressed me and been really sturdy at home under Paul Lynch. Coventry, you'd think, would be pushing in the other direction, as would Swansea, who I expect to be busy in the transfer market. Next up are Birmingham and Hull. Hull had a managerial change with Liam Rossini coming in before the World Cup. He's had plenty of time to work with his squad there. There's probably a bit more quality in that squad than a lot of the other sides down there. And I would imagine a bit of intent in the upcoming transfer market. Hull are also five games undefeated. Birmingham have looked nice and solid under John Eustace, although that recent run of three defeats does make this quite a bad time to be talking about their relegation prospects. The recruitment, I would say, of Birmingham has been the best in the bottom half there, cut above certainly the teams in the bottom six as well. Uh, Chong, Bielik and Hannibal all coming in, improving the team, looking important players. With that being said on Hull and Birmingham, I don't think I would have anyone outside the current bottom seven in immediate danger. We can talk, of course, in five or ten games if any of those sides have gone on a pretty bad losing streak. Of the bottom seven, only two sides are currently tracking above our magical point per game ratio for the past 12 matches. One is Stoke City. The other is, interestingly, second from bottom, Huddersfield Town. In terms of Stoke, there is a lot to be concerned about. It seems like whichever manager goes in there, and there have been a few since Stoke were in the Championship, will talk about a losing culture and having to turn the club around and what they've inherited. Someone's got to do it soon. It's literally their job. Um, financially, it can be very hard for teams who have had the parachute payments and end up running out in terms of adjusting to not having them and then working within the FFP restrictions. That applies however wealthy one's owners may be. The only way I'd see Stoke going down would be like a full-on meltdown, which would take a bad transfer window and bloat in the squad like they have done before, and probably Alex Neil getting fed up or being sacked in a second managerial change of the season. Otherwise, I think there's enough quality in that squad to make them stronger than their direct rivals unless you do get chaos. Huddersfield are fascinating though, aren't they? Big collapse following that playoff final defeat last season. Manager goes, key players leave in the summer. A very ill-fated short run with Danny Schofield as boss. And now in comes Mark Fotheringham. The reason I smile is that Fotheringham is pure box star. It's very bold, very intense. There is some understandable mockery with some of his comments, but I did say jokingly on Twitter the other day, what if he's actually a genius and the rest of us are just a bit too thick to understand? After I said that, actually, the Terriers did get themselves back-to-back -back wins and also took the lead 
against Luton in the last game before eventually falling to defeat. The trend is a different direction to the others down there in the bottom three at the moment. I'll let you know at the end if I think they're going to continue it. Let's look at negative trends then, and they're probably more pertinent, frankly, when we're talking about teams who may or may not go down. Unfortunately, there are two clubs that stand out for all the wrong reasons. That would be last year's automatically promoted teams from League One, Wigan and Rotherham. Both sides haven't been able to do a great deal in the transfer market. Both have relatively new managers, although it is worth saying in Rotherham's defence they didn't sack Paul Warren. He decided to make the jump across to Derby. Both teams started the campaign well, but it did seem that they were using their momentum from the previous promotion. Unfortunately for both sides, that is long gone, and the current pattern is actually really bad in terms of results for both sides. 0.5 points per game. Rotherham, six points in 12. Wigan, even worse, across 16 games, just eight points. Anything other than an improvement on that, and a pretty big improvement, and both are going to be in pretty big trouble. The remaining three teams are Bristol City, Cardiff and Blackpool. A lot of what I said about Stoke could also almost apply to Bristol City. Some financial pulling in of the belt, but some good quality in the first 11, especially the youngsters there would need to take some pretty key sales and some manager chaos for them to go. Speaking of chaos, Cardiff might already be in that category, unfortunately. We had that hard reset under Steve Morrison and a ton of new players come in. That was ditched for Mark Hudson to take over. We're now negotiating a transfer embargo. I don't think as it stands, they're going to be able to do anything in January. That's a big issue. And the points total is slowing down. Blackpool have not won in nine games. Seven red cards doesn't look great discipline-wise either. Critchley was always going to be a hard act to follow and that is how things seem to be transpiring for Michael Appleton. My take then, for what it's worth, as of right now, and things can change of course, gun to my head, Wigan and Rotherham look in real trouble with fairly newish managers expected to turn things around without being able to do a hell of a lot in January. They would be my first two picks. I think Stoke and Bristol City will survive. I think all they need to do is avoid complete meltdown, which I think they will. So my other pick is therefore between Cardiff, Blackpool and Huddersfield. Maybe Cardiff has the most depth squad-wise, Blackpool the most experienced manager. So I think this all hinges on my thoughts on Huddersfield boss Mark Fotheringham and whether those two wins were a flash in the pan and this pattern of defeats prior will be re-established. I just can't get a good read on Fotheringham at Huddersfield so I will assume that the points total will drop off and we'll look back and see those two defeats popping out as somewhat of an outlier. Hey, he could prove me completely wrong but I will go for Huddersfield to stay in the bottom three and they can be my third pick. Let me know your take in the comments. As of right now, who are your three championship sides to drop to League One and why? And I will not accept because I support one of the rivals as an acceptable argument. Don't worry, you can change your mind later in the season. I'm sure I will and we'll revisit this video at some point between now and the run-in. Usual snowflake trigger warning. If I tipped your team to be relegated, please... For God's sake, don't take it personally. Three teams are definitely going to go down. Them's the rules. And before you type your overly sensitive, emotionally charged comment, let me tell you now, I don't want anyone to go and I will be really pleased if I'm wrong and your team does indeed survive. But what I hear you say about the teams coming in the other direction. Click up here to see my take on who might be coming up automatically from League One and likely taking the place of one of the teams we've just been chatting about.